Let's solve this kinematics problem involving a particle moving along a straight line. The particle's velocity is given by v equals 12 minus 3t squared meters per second, where t is in seconds. Let's visualize this motion on a coordinate system. Here's our position axis. And we know that at t equals 1 second, the particle is located 10 meters to the left of the origin. Let's represent our particle with a depth. First, let's find the acceleration when t equals 4 seconds. The acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. Taking the derivative of 12 minus 3t squared, we get negative 6t. When we plug in t equals 4 seconds, the acceleration is negative 24 meters per second squared. Next, let's find the displacement from t equals 0 to t equals 10 seconds. To find position, we need to integrate velocity. The integral of 12 minus 3t squared dt equals 12t minus t cubed plus c. Using our initial condition that the particle is at negative 10 meters when t equals 1 second, we can solve for c. Plugging in these values, we get c equals negative 21. To find the total distance traveled, we need to consider when the particle changes direction. The particle changes direction when velocity is 0. Setting 12 minus 3t squared equal to 0, we get t equals plus or minus 2 seconds. Since we're only considering positive time, the particle changes direction at t equals 2 seconds. The total distance is the sum of the distances traveled in each interval from 0 to 2 seconds and from 2 to 10 seconds. Adding these up, we get a total distance of 912 meters. So, to summarize, the acceleration at t equals 4 seconds is negative 24 meters per second squared, the displacement from 0 to 10 seconds is negative 901 meters, and the total distance traveled is 912 meters.